So we're going to, uh, try to find an efficient, uh, circuit here between these, uh, cities in Oregon using the sorted edges algorithm. Now the sorted edges algorithm says that we should list all these edges, um, in order from cheapest to most expensive, and I've already done that on my paper, um, and so I'm gonna just call them out here as we go through them. Uh, notice that this is symmetric, so I'm only gonna be looking on the upside of this triangle here, uh, cause everything down here is a mirror of that. So I start with my cheapest edge, which is Seaside to Astoria, and so we'll go ahead and connect Seaside to Astoria, and then we'll come back and say my next cheapest is Salem to Corvallis, and my next cheapest are uh, Portland to Salem and Corvallis to Eugene. So we'll go ahead and add Portland to Salem and Corvallis to Eugene, both of which we're okay to, uh, okay to add here. Now notice something that Salem and Corvallis both have degree 2 at this point, and so we're not gonna want to visit them again. We're not gonna want to, want to, to add any other edges that connect to Salem or Corvallis. So we can pretty much at this point ignore any thing that links to Salem or that links to, that links to Corvallis, because we've already, uh, connected to those. Uh, so we're gonna ignore Corvallis, and we're going to ignore Salem. Okay, so moving along, our next, uh, sort of cheapest option here is here, uh, 78 Portland to Seaside. So we'll go Portland to Seaside, uh, and then, let's see, next is, ooh, let's see, how about, um, uh, Eugene to Newport. So we got Eugene to Newport here, uh, and let's see, next one is, uh, Portland to Astoria here, 95. So Portland to Astoria, oops, and we do not want to connect that because that's gonna create both a mini circuit and we're gonna have, uh, three edges, uh, sorry, we would have degree three here. So we're gonna skip over that one. Uh, so no Portland to Astoria. Uh, how about Ashland to, Ashland to Crater Lake for 108. So Ashland to Crater Lake, uh, we can add that one just, just fine. So now we can eliminate, again, considering Portland and Seaside and Eugene from our list because they already have degree two and we don't want degree three. So I went ahead and crossed them off our list here. Uh, and so now we look for the next cheapest, uh, circuit in our list here. Uh, and the next cheapest is, I think, Newport to Astoria here. So Newport to Astoria. And now this one's kind of tricky, right? Notice why we would not want to add this. It's kind of hard to see, but it would create a mini circuit here, uh, that does not include all the edges. So we're not going to include Newport to Astoria here. How about, uh, let's see, next biggest, Newport to Bend. Uh, so Newport to Bend, that's certainly gonna be fine. Uh, so we'll add Newport to Bend. Next on our list is, uh, looks like Bend to Ashland, which is 200. So Bend to Ashland, that's okay because we end at Crater Lake, uh, and, th and that should be fine. Now notice this point, we're pretty much done because everything has degree two except Crater Lake and Astoria, so there's only one real option left and that's to cr connect Astoria and Creator Lake, and that finishes, uh, our circuit, which has a total length of 1,241 miles, uh, if you're curious. Interestingly, th this was from Sorted Edges. Our nearest neighbor algorithm, uh, gave us a circuit with a total length of 1,266 miles, uh, and so this Sorted Edges algorithm gave us a slightly better circuit.